So we'll go ahead and just make a new scene. And then as usual, you'll go in, I'm going to just use my prefab environment that I already have. If I can find my, oh, that would be in the locomotion. So let's go to demos. This would be a prefabs director. So we'll go ahead and pull in an environment. Everything looks good there. We'll just make sure it's at the right elevation. Okay, so first thing we do is we, this is all just normal GC2 stuff, but uh, we could make a character. So we'll go ahead and make a player. Um, nothing special about him, although we will drive him over closer to the stuff so we don't have to run quite so far. Um, but just a stock Game Creator 2 character. We also need a camera shot, um, which will, the good news is that will also update our um, main camera for us with whatever we need. So let's go ahead and do a third person camera pointed at the player. All right, we're good. So that's, that's everything. That's just a Game Creator 2 character. I'll talk about the inverse kinematics in a moment, but then we go for the configuration wizard and we only work and update existing character mode for game creator integration. So let's go grab the player, bring it in. It will automatically discover the rest of it. If you just search in your project for your, whichever um, your actual base character prefab is and drag that in up here, I have my ground layer set to default and ground or ignore because that's what makes sense for this um, setup. If that if you don't have grounder ignore and grounder only you can go over to uh, the stairs component and if you're missing them essentially you could just go to add layer and on layer 10 grounder only layer 11 grounder ignore um, and what that allows and i'll just show you the um, grounder only is for foot placement solutions and it's the actual mesh of the stairs whereas grounder ignore is a smooth incline or if you have uneven ground surface wherever it is a smoother version so that the camera can stay steady as you climb the stairs without having to bounce up every single stair it gets a little jagged that kind of thing so it's really for camera smoothness and the grounder only is for foot placement however with mmlc parkour you're going to want to use for parkourable layers you're going to want to use the actual mesh the grounder only component because you want those ik hands and feet to hook up to the mesh in the right way that's where you want them placed you don't want them placed on that smooth incline because then they'll penetrate the mesh itself but all right so let's go ahead and make this character so we have that set up input manager input system doesn't really matter um grounder layers everything looks good let's go to game creator we'll turn that on make sure that we're starting in mmlc mode and we don't need a camera you'll notice it also disabled the audio source because we don't need that go ahead and hit add to scene no errors everything looks good it created it if we go over here we'll notice that uh, here we have our normal character component and in this the one thing i will say if you have a line feature ground enabled you want to disable that because foot placement isn't working with mlc and mlc has integrations with a bunch of really good foot placement solutions especially like i step for example and so we rec i recommend that one but the but that said you can lean leave lean with momentum on if you wish however that's usually baked into the MMLC like a, to a motion matching data set will have the leaning already baked in so that we can use that effectively. But I'll leave that on so you can see what is uh, essentially a over -drama, like dramatized uh, leaning whenever the character is getting started going or running around. But there's your that's your normal game creator two component. You have a character control, character controller. What has been added is our controller wrapper and the uh, our actual. MMLC character and the Game Creator 2 script. So, well, let's go ahead and fire it up and see if it works. Sure enough, there we go. And yep, he's doing it. All right, so there we now have full MMLC quality locomotion with a GC character. And so we'll go ahead and move around, just make sure jumping works. Yep, there we go. Go see if he can actually climb the stairs and maybe jump from the top of the stairs. See if we can get a roll. Yeah, everything's looking really good. And so you'll notice he's he's leaning just a little too much with that extra with that extra lean. So typically, what I would recommend is going in and disabling the lean with the momentum because it's just not needed to get a good uh, get a good lean. See, that's just the actual animation itself has those really nice leans built into them. So that's that.
Well, let's go ahead and since we're here, we'll go ahead and just add a couple of triggers so that you can switch back and forth between Game Creator and MMLC. So we'll want this to be input based. We'll do input button, um, keyboard, press, and we'll set this one to Q. We'll use Q and E. Q will switch us over to Game Creator and E will put us back to MMLC. So we go to MMLC in the instructions and we're going to use MMLC control. There's quite a lot. You can look through all of them and, and see what each of them do, but MMLC control is the one we want. And Q is going to transition to Game Creator. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate that. We'll set this to E and we'll say transition to MMLC. And we'll do that in a tenth of a second. You could do it much quicker than that, but that's just a nice smooth amount to get it going. So, and things like we could make instructions to do, um, as soon as we transition to MMLC, we can add an instruction to do gestures. You can have separate things for gestures. It works right out of the box, masked, unmasked, doesn't matter. And it's extremely smooth. So let's go ahead and hit play. And as usual, we start in MLC mode, but that was a choice I made in the config wizard. You can also just go change it in the component. But if I hit Q while we're running, there we go. We're now in Game Creator. So you'll notice the very familiar Game Creator locomotion. And then E will put us right back into MMLC and get rid of any foot sliding and give you all those transition, transitions and all the things that people use MMLC for. And sure enough, you know, Spacebar is going to do what it does. And that's it.